Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of CO2 drop checkers. If you've ever wondered how to keep your aquarium plants thriving whilst ensuring your fish stay safe, you're in the right place. Let's break down everything you need to know about CO2 drop checkers, how they work, and how to use them effectively. So what is a CO2 drop checker? It's a simple yet powerful tool used in aquariums to monitor CO2 levels. This little device helps maintain the right balance of CO2 for optimal plant growth without harming your fish. A CO2 drop checker is essentially a glass bulb containing a pH sensitive solution that changes color based on CO2 levels in your aquarium. The solution inside typically uses 4-DKH water and bromithamol blue, which react to changes in pH. But how does this color change indicate CO2 levels? Let's dive into the science. Bromithamol blue is a molecule that shifts color based on pH levels, turning blue at higher pH and yellow at lower pH. When CO2 dissolves in water, it forms carbonic acid, lowering the pH. The drop checker with its pH indicator solution changes color to reflect these shifts. At a pH of 7.1, there are equal parts of protonated bromithamol blue, which is yellow, and deprotonated bromithamol blue, which is blue. And so the solution appears is green. This is the sweet spot we're aiming for. If the solution turns blue, it means your CO2 levels are too low, and if it turns yellow, CO2 levels are too high. And you might be wondering, why not just measure CO2 directly? Well, while CO2 probes are more accurate, they're also expensive and require constant calibration. The drop checker is a cost-effective and reliable alternative for hobbyists. So let's talk about setting up your drop checker. Here's what you need. A glass drop checker, indicator solution, which usually comes with the drop checker, distilled or RO water, and a clean, algae-free spot in your tank with good water circulation. Start by cleaning the drop checker with distilled water. No soap or chemicals, and avoid using tap water as it can skew results due to varying hardness levels. Then fill the drop checker with the indicator solution as directed on the bottle. This is usually around 15 drops. Once filled, attach the drop checker to your tank. Some hook over the glass's edge, and some use a suction cup to attach the glass just beneath the water's surface. Either way, position it away from heaters and areas with poor circulation. Fast forward a few hours, and voila! Ah, the solution in your drop checker has changed color, giving you a clear indication of your tank's CO2 levels. Remember, green is our target. If it's blue, you need to increase CO2, and if it's yellow, reduce CO2 to avoid harming your fish. Adjusting CO2 levels can be done by tweaking your CO2 system. It's crucial to balance it right. Too much CO2 can suffocate your fish, whilst too little won't benefit your plants. And here are some pro tips. Use a timer to synchronize CO2 injection with your lighting schedule. Turn on CO2 one to three hours before the lights to ensure CO2 levels are optimal when photosynthesis begins. Again, you'll need to tweak this by keeping an eye on the drop checker and adjusting the timer accordingly. The larger the tank, the longer it will take to reach optimum levels. But remember, the solution is revealing the levels from a couple of hours ago, so it may take a few days to hone in on the right timings. If the checker is turning green within an hour of lights on, you're probably in that sweet spot. And finally, turn off CO2 an hour before lights out to prevent CO2 buildup overnight. Basically, using a timer ensures that CO2 levels are consistently optimal, which is a key to healthy, thriving aquariums. Now let's talk maintenance. Change the indicator solution every three months or when it starts to turn murky. Clean the drop checker regularly to remove algae and calcium buildups, because this will keep your readings accurate. Regular maintenance ensures you're always getting the best reading possible. And that's it. By now, you should have a solid understanding of how to use a CO2 drop checker to keep your aquarium balanced and thriving. Remember, consistency is key. Keep an eye on those colors, adjust as needed, and your plants and your fish will thank you. So if you found that useful, you might also be interested in my Aquarium CO2 Buyer's Guide. Or for something completely different, check out the time that I asked ChatGPT to give me aquascaping instructions. That's one of my favorites. Take care, and I'll see you soon.